your UVP. Your business's unique value proposition is the basis for every message you're sending out. If you own the only shoe repair service in town, your gigantic unique value proposition may be that you're the only shoe repairer in town. It's enough to hang up a shoe and have somebody come to you. If there are 15 shoe repair shops, however, you need to be the one that stands out in the crowd somehow. Identifying your unique value proposition is no easy task because it's not just about being valuable. It's about being unique. What do you bring to the table that others do not or cannot or are not willing to? How does someone know that you're good at what you do? Contrary to popular belief, it's not about the ers. Better, faster, cheaper. It's about the ests. Those are, you're the best, you're the fastest, you're the cheapest. If you just tell me that you're cheaper, are you Walmart? Because they're the cheapest. And if you tell me about how you make people happier, are you Disneyland? Because that's the happiest place on earth. And Zappos, the best online service. And the wine bar downtown, the largest selection of wines by the glass. That's something I'll tell my friends about. My dentist, he's the friendliest. And that's why I go there. And that's his unique value proposition. Think about what is it that you bring to the table? And sometimes that's hard to do when it's you. How about you ask some of your best clients, people that view you from the outside, and say, why did you choose me over someone else? Unfortunately, there will always be a portion of the population that ignores you. It doesn't matter how good your unique value proposition is in those cases. Those consumers just don't need what your company has to offer right now. And that's okay. Because if you're memorable, they'll come back to you when it matters, or they might just end up being a surprise referral source in the end. 